Hi folks, so this is Roger from Off Grid Van Life and um, these are Lycian cells. They're meant to be really good quality. So we are <coughs> going to unbox them now and uh, get first impressions. Uh, Coming two boxes so there should be two cells per box. And I think they come with a plastic housing that we ordered. Uh, so being Lycian we would expect them to be really good quality. And I think they are 200 amp hour. So normally we build batteries with 280 amp hour. 280 amp hour seems to be the sweet spot for the size and weight of cells that you get uh, all over the internet on Alibaba, AliExpress and places like that. <coughs> so let's see. Right, first box popped open. Padding is good. Lots of it, lots of bits and oh yes, here comes the case. Stuff the padding in here behind me. Make a nice rat's nest there. So, if you can see from there, we've got a nice plastic case uh, that we can build uh, the battery around. And just checking. So in here, if you can see from that angle, <coughs> we have um, two cells in each case, nicely padded out. They look like they are put together quite well. Tons of padding everywhere. Because these boxes do uh, pretty much act as a drop-in replacement size, not not entirely drop-in replacement because you have to uh, take into account changing your charging system if, if that is not compatible with uh, lithium cells, but uh, <coughs> quite a nice box. Let's put it to the side because this is actually all about the cells. So we've got one box there. Let's open up the second one. I want to see if uh, they all look consistent and if they're all the same sort of voltage and internal resistance. We'll be doing capacity tests later. And in this box we just have two cells. That's great. I'll put these aside. I'm going to try and lift them out just by their terminals. <coughs> These are tiny little things, they definitely look like they're going to be 200 amp hours. 202 amp hours. Uh, very good padding on this box, very thick padding. Right, let's uh, have a look at these cells now. <coughs> Ah, nice, no bulging. They're pretty cold, it's quite cold in this um, workshop here. No bulging whatsoever. Uh, let's have a look at them and see what their voltage is in that are. If you want to see, comparatively, these are 280 amp hour EVE cells. It shows you the same height. Same width, but the thickness is considerably different. And they'll obviously weigh a lot less. I'll get a scale out and show you in a moment. But for now, I just want to check what the uh, voltage and internal resistance will be on these. Three point two nine and point one nine. Three point two nine and point one nine, nice and consistent so far. Three point two nine, point one nine, they really are consistent. Three point two nine and point one nine, point two zero. So very happy with those. They've come in at the right voltage, coming at the right um, 
uh, resistance, so they are likely to be very good. Right, let's see. Weight-wise, so these 280 amp hour EVE cells are usually about 5 kgs, 5.366. 5.366, let's see what all these, I want to see if they all weigh the same actually. So 3.934. 3.929, it's close enough. 3.926, still quite close. And 3.931, yep, <clears throat> I'm happy this. They're very close in uh, weight. There is no bulging. I uh, look at the general condition. They are, they look pretty good. No dents, no scratches. No dents, no scratches. Third cell is looking good. And finally, the fourth cell. Yeah. No physical problems with these. Um, I look at the terminals quite closely. They are quite consistent. They're all straight, they look good. Threads look clean. Uh, the usual very small uh, surface area, which worries the number of people, but we've done quite a few high capacity and temperature tests and discovered that these are absolutely fine. Because you can talk them down to about 10 Newton meters. So, no problem there at all. So <clears throat> they'll be the same height, which is 200 um, on the cell itself without the terminal, 200, 200. And as I said, they're the same uh, width, so 175, 175. But the uh, thickness is very different. So these are 72 millimeters each, and these are, uh, looks like 54 millimeters each. So that, that 202 amp hours, as I said, we'll test them out to see what capacity they come out at. Um, I mean, these are going to fit quite easily into a case like this. Uh, Width-wise, they'll fit in, as you can see. Uh, Length-wise, so if you had a bit of ply at the end and some more ply, you've got tons of space for a, a good BMS, so you, actually you could put quite thick ply fiber tapes to stop it expanding uncontrollably and um, you know these these would fit into this case very very comfortably so quite pleased with that so we will uh, assemble them into an enclosure and start the uh, top balancing and uh, we we're going to do it a fast uh, top balance so we'll assemble these as a 12 volt battery uh, charge them normally with a 12 volt charger. By 12 volt, I mean 14.6 volt charger. Um, <clears throat> the first cell will reach 3.65 and uh, that'll stop the charging process. Uh, we'll then uh, disassemble, reassemble into parallel and, and do a top balance with a 3.65 volt charger and then uh, reassemble back into a 12 volt battery and start the capacity tests. The first capacity test will be a low C uh, using the standard test. This takes about a two day, one or two days. And so that'll tell us uh, quite accurately what uh, capacity these are. Uh, last point I'll make, the QR codes are intact and um, uh, one assumes that they will scan to a proper QR number. Uh, my phone is using, is being used for the recording so I can't check that now, I'll check that later. Um, but yeah. Happy with what I see. Nice dinky little cells. So the, these <coughs> would be the equivalent of three of your huge uh, 100 amp hour lead acid batteries. So the equivalent of three of them, and it's you know really small and dinky. Um, for most of our rigs, we use these two 80 amp hours, just pick, and the the extra 80 amp hours are quite nice to have, because uh, these would be the equivalent of four big heavy lead acid batteries. So, yep, let's uh, get on with the uh, charging and balancing and testing. Mm -hmm.